Hello everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Warhawk Football. I'm your host, Sam Athini, alongside head football coach Kevin Bullis. Coach, let's get right into it. And you won last week against Salisbury of Maryland. How important is it to get that first score on the board when you play a team such as good as Salisbury? It's, it's important for us in the sense of that confidence builder of, heck yeah, the things that we're doing, the things that we prepared to do, we're being able to execute it. So it's not a question, it's a big confidence boost. But in turn, it's, if you're on the other side of that, are you going to let that be a distraction to you? You know what I mean? And yeah, and that happens in games. We're not the first to score. And so we have to be able to manage that as a team. And, and so the question is, ultimately, if we're the first to score, then as our opponent, is it a distraction to them? And you play the Barry College Vikings this week, and their starting defensive backs don't have as much size or experience as the Warhawks do. What aspect on the offensive side are you going to lean towards when it comes to the size of your players? You know, to answer that question, I mean, obviously we're very fortunate with our wide receiver core in the sense of the, this may be the deepest wide receiver core I've in my 33 years of coaching, uh, the most talented wide receiver core I've been around. And so that, that's going to be a great opportunity for them. Now, I am going to tell you this, though. I've seen those young men on film. They may be young, but they are very talented. And the other part of that defense is this. Their linebackers and D-line are very senior laden. And so, I mean, the, the key thing of great pass defense is pass rush. It really is. And, and that's going to be the key piece that we're going to have to be able to manage is the pressure that they're going to put on Max and our offensive line. And coach, the run pass option has helped the Warhawks open up the passing game like we've talked about in weeks past here. But during last week's game, Max Myler had a 70 yard touchdown pass off a of run pass option. How has the run pass balance helped you guys succeed so far this season? It's, it's, you know, it's something that's been a key piece for us. I mean, you know, we, we just got done playing Salisbury, who is a triple option team. Well, that's basically can be our version of double option or triple option in all reality. That long pass to, um, you know, Ryan Wisniewski, I mean, that was a great job of selling the block by Ryan. Ryan did a great job of, of, of you know, making that corner think it was, um, you know, he was blocking him on the bubble and, and we'd run the bubble well on him prior to that. And so he, he bit the bait on it and Ryan did a great job of finishing it in the end zone. Coach, thanks for your time. I look forward to talking to you next week. We'll talk to you next week, Sam. This has been this week's edition of Inside Warhawk Football on UWW-TV.